As I said, it's indeed my honor uh, to introduce uh, several other our vice chancellors and individuals who are partners with this. And if I could please introduce Professor Oma. Um, do you care to say any, any words at all, Professor, um, regarding uh, Professor Oma Kanjima? Do you want to come up or just want to speak there? Yeah, I'm actually, my background is library information science. So I happen to be part of the standing committee of NME ICT. Uh, in fact, uh, Joint Secretary will be speaking about NME ICT. But uh, uh, the plan is, in fact, to take it forward. Uh, like what is happening, the three areas uh, the National Mission on Education through ICT is working. One is working on the connectivity that is providing broadband connectivity to universities and colleges. Second is access devices. I think you have heard about the Akash tablet, uh, that $35 thing that uh, around 100,000 uh, tablets were uh, distributed to uh, college students in engineering and technology and they are planning in a big way to go with a version 4 in, in the recent, I mean they are uh, planning to go in recent years in fact. Uh, apart from that, the major area that is happening is the content, e-content development. We had, uh, in fact, it started a way uh, back in 2002 with the development of uh, NPTEL program where engineering and technology content were developed and it's very popular and uh, world over it's being accessed in fact and uh, apart from that we have institutions like CEC and UGC they have come up with undergraduate and postgraduate uh, courses but what NME ICT is now planning is moving towards developing uh, content in cluster areas Funding has been given to social sciences, humanities and arts, medical sciences and now in fact that's the uh, what uh, Dr. Dilip was referring to that agriculture we are going to add on, I mean we are planning to go in for a uh, uh, content development in that area and also how we take it forward as a uh, partnering for the NVA as well as the MOOCs platform that can be provided for. Uh, in fact, there are a number of uh, interesting projects under the NME ICT. One is this uh, Talk to a Teacher program, which actually goes in for the teachers training program. Uh, 10,000 teachers training program it's known as. And so far they have used, I mean, they, they have trained around 70,000 teachers. And they are using the web conferencing facility, which is also in-house developed. That uh, AVU platform is being uh, developed for under this enemy ICT, which is being used for that purpose. Uh, then we have spoken tutorials, around 500 uh, spoken tutorials. I think that's another technology we should explore for developing the content in the agricultural area also. We should look into that. Uh, even experiments with virtual la lab. Where the IIT uh, Delhi partnering with other IITs, they have developed around 100 uh, virtual labs, uh, both uh, simulation based and uh, remote, uh, remotely triggered uh, labs, in fact. And uh, also, there are experiments in robotics in education. So, number of areas have been. Uh, covered and a lot of innovative programs are coming and in fact 25th of September there is going to be in a big way uh, launch of the MOOCs, India MOOCs they are calling and I think the uh, agriculture cluster and the proposal from ICRISAT will be part of it in future, that's what we are looking forward to. Thank you for sharing perspectives from other um, other areas that have been successful. And we are really only limited today by what we're going to do by our imagination, our imagination of where our innovation can take us so that we can impact and, and help uh, those farmers around the world. 